Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you um, a bit of context around the training that I'm going to do um, in, in the other sessions with the um, reporting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit how SAP and BW work together and what's the difference in between them. So imagine that that's SAP and this is what we call BW, which is Business Warehouse. So SAP is made out of different modules. One being HR, where the employees' record are, records are. One being project systems, which is where the projects are. One being finance. Another one sales. Another one logistics, etc. So this is actually where where the data is entered and where actually the the core of the of the system exists. Yeah. So this is where the data is. BW's business warehouse is actually a repository of data. Every night, so this happens nightly. Every night the data moves from the system, and not all of it, some of the data, so some data, moves from the SAP system into the BW, into the business warehouse, into this repository. The difference in between, and the reason why this exists, is because access to this is through SAP, yeah, and a license is like $5,000 each. And access to this is through the portal, which is a web portal, like a normal website, and if you actually go to the timesheet portal, you know, in, in, in the loop, you can actually click in there, you'll see that you obviously have a tab at the top, you know, with all the other tabs, self-servers, etc, etc, and one is called BW Reports, yeah, and that's where these reports are found. So the difference in between them mainly is, again, like I said, accessibility, this is free, so this doesn't cost any money, this actually costs us $5,000 of license. Now, you guys all have access to these, and you have access to these. The only difference as well, the other difference as well, is that these reports are a little bit more versatile. You can actually, you know, cut and slice and, and, and play with the data and filter it online, where with these reports, once you get them in SAP, it's a bit clunky to, feel, you know, to filter and to do stuff, so you actually have to download them into Excel. The reports I'm going to show you, there are some in here, so I'm going to show you three here, one called ZH root, the other one called SALR and a number, and the other one called CJI3. And those reports are actually here. What else is here is obviously CJ20N, which is where you do your ECPs and where you look at project milestones, etc. Yeah. So all these are what we call transactions. Yeah. So these transactions is how you access different parts of this system. And normally when you run a transaction, you actually are grabbing a little bit of each one of these modules. You bring a little bit of data from every one of those modules together and you access that and display it. And then you download it into Excel, etc. In here, what you do is we're going to be accessing um, different pre-laid out reports, yeah? And the reason why they pre-laid out is because the data that is in here, which is a whole heap of this data that comes from all over the place, we actually created some pre-laid out reports, so just some templates that we said, right, here is a report with these columns and these rows, etc. Yeah? So there's like 15 of those, and I'll show you when we actually get into it. And in each one of those, you start with something that then you can manipulate yourself. So you can say, actually, I don't want that column anymore, and I want to filter this row by X, and etc., etc. So that's the, 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 the versatility this gives you. So in here, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at milestone reporting, we're going to look at project reporting, and we're going to look at time reporting. Yeah. So CE time, project meaning your portfolio of projects, and milestone reporting meaning, you know, book to printer, etc., etc., which is, you know, another place to look at it. Okay, I hope that helped.